The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. I'm just testing out this thing that I'm about to give away. Just testing this. So, just testing this out. About to give away this awesome, cool product, moving back and forth, side to side. I'm actually moving side to side, but you guys are not even recognizing it. Ooh. And then I'm tracking Jilly's face. I'm gonna flip it around to me so that you guys can understand what I was saying. This is what I was doing. And I said, move, move, move. It's still tracking Jilly's face a bit up, down. Huh, pretty cool. Hey. <laughs> Just gonna try a couple of stuff for the people who love doing it. Still tracking Julie's face. I still see the tracking thing. Now it's tracking me. Now for those who love doing the Instagram, one click on the button and it flips it to this mode. Ah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Going up, down, up, down. One click of a button, flips it back to, oh, I think somebody's gonna like this when I give it away. This is a current touch. <laughs> Yo, I see my boy. I see my boy. What good? Bienvenido a Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. What's up, boy? <laughs> Yo. Hey, Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> Yo. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's go. <laughs> So we're about to eat our meals and stuff. We got oxtails. We've done other things that are already on. Yo, Kurt, 
has his cold this bottle you definitely copped him one i like this color this color is pretty nice we all know Kurt, mr kool-aid everything right anyway i'm gonna hop back whenever we decide to do something out here in miami could be like a street food stop or something at all and i'll head back but for now we're gonna eat and just catch up All right, so like you guys already know, we are currently in Florida. We are about to take this six hour drive to go all the way out in at the bush. We are going to Jasper. We're gonna be doing a little bit of glamping out there, a little bit of cooking and actually experiencing, you know, American camping life. I always say to people all the time, you can enjoy yourself wherever you are. If you are in the US and you can't quite make it out to Jamaica or any nice island or anything like that, you possibly can do that right here in the US. Beans, are you excited? Yeah, I am. It's early. <laughs> tired. <laughs> Kurt. Yeah, yeah, so excited. <laughs> Kurt's in at the hotel. <laughs> so we're fueling up. Yeah, you are sleeping. Half asleep. We're halfway oh there. Yeah, Another so three hours to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going in Nathan's hot dogs to grab a dog real quick. But... Okay, sir, so yeah, how you wait? All right, can I get a hot dog combo? One hot dog combo? Uh huh. With what topping? No, 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 just ketchup on mine. Just ketchup? And mayo. So, Kurt saying that the old fashioned lemonade is really good. If you guys oh, love Nathan's or drop in the comments and let me know. This is my okay. first time ever having a Nathan's hot dog, as far as I'm concerned. All right, so we got the hot dogs. I got um, two chili hot dogs with some onions. Chili got the plain hot dogs. So, we're going to find somewhere to park really quick. And I'm going to try it out really fast, see how good these hot dogs are. 1916. That's a long time to be operating a hot dog business. It's pretty good. All right. Oh. I heard Jesus make hot dog mm. run off the bone. Looks pretty good. Let's try it out. Alright. Cheers to this chili dog. Mm. That's a good dog. Mm -hmm. A little warm. All right, guys, so I have been in Florida for quite some time. I haven't recorded any videos here as yet until this point because I wanted to fulfill this little dream that I had, which is to go camping in the USA. So we're all here in Florida and we're about to do a bit of camping. Now, a lot of persons always ask me on my videos, you know, are there dangerous things out there in Jamaica that can hurt you while you go camping? Primarily snakes? No, in my entire life, I've seen one snake but it's those tiny little garden snakes it's completely different out here in florida or in the u.s in general because of course there are snakes out here in the rivers in jamaica some parts like in black river and saint elizabeth you will find a lot more alligators and stuff like that but the other parts they're basically next to none ever here it's different you know and we're very close to the swanee river and uh yeah i asked a couple locals they said yo you're in florida basically saying you never know so anyway we're out here to do some outdoor cooking to do some camping and to experience just being out here in the u.s i think beans is somewhere out there beans how do you feel after your first night rested you feel rested yeah. pretty relaxed fell asleep on my yeah we fell asleep pretty early um the funny part was though when it was time to get up to go pee because it got a bit cold yeah <laughs> it was a group effort of course, we just have to be a lot more, you know, careful, you know, whenever we do a little movements and whatever the case is. But, yo, that's life. Anyway, we are going to get everything as set up as we can in terms of, you know, items that we need to cook. And um, I'll try my best to show you those little parts 
of this place here that I find really, really cool. And uh, oh, yeah, we are out here by ourselves. Kurt dropped us off yesterday and he is gone to his hotel. So as I always tell people, if you go camping, make sure you have a tether. So right now, Kurt is our tether and our means of communication. Um, I have my cell phone out here, but there's blotches of, um, you know, no Internet connection and stuff. So that's going to be the whole idea. So anyway, let's get into this camping series in the USA, Florida. It's going to be a vibe. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get our teeth brushed. So I guess we can show you how the bathroom is set up. <sighs> so this is what you call a conservation. I only have this much of water to actually brush my teeth. Um, we all know we use a ton of water when we're brushing our teeth. But um, yeah, I promise you this is sufficient. All right, so here's our little showering system that we have here. Well, it's supposed to be a rain barrel. Um, yeah, where we're staying, they never had it filled up. So yeah, that's kind of a problem. But there's a rain barrel system. I guess water can come from the top and drop in there whenever it rains. Um, so our little shower um, area, which I find it's really, really cool because it gives some level of privacy, but then you can kind of see that the person is showering. I think that's really cool if you're here um, with your partner or whatever. And then we get into the bathroom and then right there, you guys can see that is, I believe it's a composting toilet. So There's that button right there, that's the button that you press to actually circulate some water. That little trigger down there, that says pull. That is how you open it. So whatever needs to get in there, get in there. And then that one over there, that is a refill. I think that is pretty cool. And of course you have the mirror there and the camp shower again. I never had that set up for us there, but we can just um buy some water and have it tossed into that. Well, we have some water so we can throw it into there. And this is going to be our shower. So there's pretty much no water in the, in the rain barrel or whatever it is. So we have to be potting it <laughs> into, into our shower thing. Now, anywhere that I go to stay, I'm always curious as to my environment, which you should be. I think this could be the area where the rain barrel is supposed to go on top of so that they, it can be gravity fed and then connect into there. But I, yeah, anyway. We'll make it happen. So let's get ready to brush our teeth. All right, so we just got our shower on just now. Got that done, and uh, it was pretty good actually. I'm trying to conserve water, it worked out well. What I'm gonna do right now is just to set up the fire and start working on our first dish. The first thing we're doing is going to be a ramen noodle dish. So it's like a soup, broth, and everything like that. Trying to have it with a bunch of flavor, and we just hope it's gonna be really good. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, let's take this off, give ourselves some space. And just start setting up our fire area. And um, I was much nice and dry twigs here. It's a beautiful thing to see when it's cooking for you or keeping you warm. All right, I think we got that going good enough. So we have just our pot with water because we're about to boil the ramen noodles really quick. Add a touch of salt. Cover it down and then just wait for it to boil up.
Now, the ramen noodles that we're gonna be using is the Noguri spicy seafood version. If you look really closely, it cost us only $1.69. Ramen noodles, generally, it's pretty cheap, but I don't think they have a lot of nutrition to them. So what we're gonna be doing is quick and simple. You can do this if you want to at home as well. It's just to add a couple of stuff of nutrition value. But anyway, first thing we're gonna do is just to boil this first without the seasoning in there. Then we're gonna take it off and set it aside for a second without the water in it. So water has boiled up nicely. This is a seasoning pack that it comes with. We're not gonna add that. Oh, it's actually more than one. Oh, never used this brand before, but it has this thing here. And what is this? It's some form of flakes. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a spicy flakes or the chili flakes that they add to it. I know a lot of college students, even myself, while I was in high school. This is a quick and easy way to make something, whether you're a good cook or not. So, added that, let it boil a bit. All right, this is definitely done now. So we can just spin this around and take it off. So right now we're having some water boiled for the eggs that we're gonna do with it as well. But guess who is here? Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> the delivery man himself. So Kurt stopped by. Uh, hopefully we can get some dinner ready for that. And um, yeah, just to experience everything that we're doing. Yep. How was the hotel? It was good. Oh my God. I think this is ready. All right, so we got a nice cut of beef here. So it's already washed and clean and everything. Um, so I'm just gonna clean it off a bit. Some of the extra skin here. Try to cook this whole Go right through, and then we have our butter. So I'm trying to keep the the meat inside as moist as possible, but the outside cooked. I know my Jamaican people, that's kind of weird because <laughs> we don't really like our beef medium or rare or anything like that. So, you know, I'm just going to put this over the grill a bit. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> so, as it's under, we're using the butter because you don't know butter adds a lot of flavor and it's going to keep the meat nice and moist what i like about this i can actually adjust the height as i see fit we're actually getting grill marks too <laughs> Kurt's here here to crackle that's the part that i like Ooh. So 
so good. I know you don't eat ramen, right, Kurt? No. Not a ramen person. Nothing with soup. Nope. I'll pick out the beef, so and the noodles. <laughs> Have that under just for a little bit longer and we should be good right oh my god <laughs> i just love that sound all right so we lowered the beef to the fire now because we want nicer charring on the outside to be a little bit more crispy Get my bottle. And it's on there nice. Oh yeah. And like I said before, usually um these noodle soups they don't have much nutrition value. So this is just a nice little way to make a very affordable dish even better. All right. This part is still a little bit through right here. And put it back for a little bit longer. All right, I don't mind having my steak a little bit medium. So Jilly can always get the ends which are a bit more done. I'm just gonna leave this and let it rest for a bit and then we should be good to go. All right, so we had this resting a bit. Do some nice thin cuts on it. Something cuts. Try, try that piece. I got this a piece of more. Oh, cook. <laughs> How's it? Not very well done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks good. It is a good cut of steak. Oh, the top sirloin, right? Mm hmm. I said, didn't you? Didn't you? Mm-hmm, kebabs are going to be really good. I'll be back for that. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the final part. Um, you can make your brat from scratch, but if you're out camping, this is easier. This is the final part of everything. We're just making a nice and hot broth that we're going to toss on top of all our ingredients. I let that get a bit hot first and then when it bubbles up we can start seasoning it to our preferred taste all right so we have one of the spicy noodles from the ramen i tasted it is quite spicy so i'm not going to use both packets yeah my pot was just singing to me telling me that it's ready um So we're just using one. It's going to be a spicy ramen, I would presume, because the spice level on that was pretty good. I'm also going to add some garlic powder. And just a little bit of low sodium soy sauce.
if you really want to get really extreme you can actually do your broth from scratch and it's gonna like oomph the flavor levels but again we're camping so Kurt what is it like sitting out this is probably the first time you've ever seen me camping out and cooking yeah yeah very first time it's outdoor cooking experience. I mean the, the, the techniques and the squatting I couldn't do it <laughs> but um, it smelled real good and I like the way I cook vibes all right so we're about to plate this really quick so, so the first thing you're gonna need of course is your cooked noodles already in the pot in the bowl then put some beef some green onions or scallions then of course you're gonna get your egg you're gonna do the egg exactly how you like it if you like your runny definitely have it runny and then we had some pickled ginger that um, Jillian and I worked on so she worked on the pickle and I sliced up the ginger I am not good with chopsticks this is really just for showmanship you just pop some on top there but the pickled ginger is just vinegar salt and some sugar jilly put that together and some lightly sliced ginger and that's that that's our dish there and of course they give you these little packets here there it tastes a little bit fishy so it tastes like it's um seaweed so we saw these in the asian store as well so it's a little bit of um seaweed and some carrots there actually makes the plate look really nice pop your spoon in and the noodles and there we go. Jilly, you can try it out. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, it's like manila eat it. Oh my gosh. So Jilly is part Chinese, yeah? Yeah, so don't mm. the spoon, guys. Yeah, it's good to like warm everything back up inside the thing itself. Oh, that looks really good. Mm, very nice. Looks really good. Good. Guys, I have the chopsticks, but I'm gonna know how to use it. So, mm. it's really good. It's good season. It's really good. You never eat ramen too, so yeah. Really? It's uptown ramen. No. <laughs> this is not normal ramen. Mm -mm. You didn't get the ginger. Mm -hmm. Give it a kick. The ginger? Oh my word. What about the pickle? Did the pickle come through right? Yeah, man. I'm sure it's going to get better. It's really good. Vibes. <laughs> My favorite part. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so tender. Yeah, the beef was perfectly cooked. Mm. Mm -mm. Right. Well. Entire chunk of beef in this. Right? <laughs> Good pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crime scene. Crime scene. 
So shout out to the very first outdoor cooking video I've ever done inside of the US. Shout out to my boy Kurt for helping to make it happen. And of course, shout out for Jilly for helping me out in the kitchen, big help. So yeah, um, we got this dish done. It was a really good dish, I enjoyed it. Of course, the whole concept of ramen noodles is supposed to be quick and easy, but we did add a couple of stuff to it that adds more nutrition value to the dish because really noodles and some salty water is not going to be something that's going to be really filling and good for you. Now, if you want to do this dish, you know, more often, you can just sear up some steak, put it in the fridge. You can have it there. Same thing with the broth. You can have the broth pre-done. So all you got to do, pop it in the microwave, heat it up and throw in your noodles and whatever. You guys get the idea. Anyway, we're going to get catch up a little bit more, do some talking and just enjoy the scenery out here. To be quite honest, as my very first camping experience in the U.S., it is very, very relaxing. I can hear... Sometimes I hear some really new insects and bugs and it's a little bit it's a little bit different because I do not know what it is. Like for example, some bugs were flying over like the meat when we were cutting. I was like, yo, what is it? <laughs> but yo, it was fun. Kurt, what's been the experience so far, man? It's been great. Um, this style of cooking over the open flame in the pit. And um, you seared that beef perfectly. So I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm really happy about that because I don't drink the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Plus, um, I really want to learn how to cook steak, and I think in Jamaica we don't really have really great cuts. So I think being in the U.S., I have more opportunities to try, plus try it out. Jamaica, we just burn it up. Yeah, straight. Today we had just a little bit of pink in there, and it was really nice and tender. What about you, Beans? It was really good. Um, I enjoyed it. You know, it's good when the person who don't drink steak, right? <laughs> Drink it up. Yeah, it's a good experience. I've never done this in the US before either. So it's nice. Different, you know. Definitely a vibe. Okay. How was your sleep last night though? Cause uh yeah. My sleep? Yeah. I'm gonna try to watch a movie and I'm gonna try to open my eyes because I'm always guilty of falling asleep. Mm-hmm. And I try my best, but it never doesn't make any sense because you drop asleep before me anyway. Straight. <laughs> but it was good. I feel rested. Yeah, it's comfortable in the Oh yeah, it's mad comfortable to be That's honest, really good. Anyhow, shout out to the people who always give me support, whether it's a yard or abroad. I appreciate you guys. And if you do enjoy videos like these and see me doing up some new dishes for the very first time, drop a comment in the comment section. And of course, check out the links in the description box so you can see what we've been up to. Anyway, remember to see things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link. There it is. Right. <laughs> drag away a big piece of meat. Like I, he literally cut off a little chunk. And I thought, okay, he's gonna eat it right there in front of us. He's like, mm -hmm. Yeah, and he also took off, I was like, oh, snap. <laughs>